This is all the latest news and gossip. Be getting fucked up. Shit, just like that. Damn sure don't appreciate that. And all these little fucking blogs and social media shit, y'all need to cut that bullshit out too, man. Y'all gonna get somebody fucked up out here. What happened? Oh, you don't you don't read social media? What's this lady who was on this show called the Bad Girls Club that I met at the airport? And we exchanged numbers. And I texted a few times. And she got on social media and tried to make it seem like we was in a full-blown relationship and that I was abusive to her. Now, keep in mind, I only met this person one time in my life. We ain't never been in no relationship. We ain't never kicked it. We ain't never met up. We ain't did shit. Judy from the Bad Girls Club, yes. She went online and put all these text messages out, tried to make it seem like me and her had some kind of relationship that we did not. We took a picture at the fucking airport. We took one picture at the airport. I thought she was cool, so I gave her my number. I wasn't with anybody. So we exchanged texts, and then she started texting me, blowing me up crazy. So I stopped responding to the shit. So then, of course, she sent some news. That's what motherfuckers do when, when you ain't get... So, of course, a nigga replied to the news, but that's it. But all that other shit... That's bullshit. That's cap. And I don't appreciate that. And I've been seeing, I was just going to completely ignore that shit. But then when she started talking about somebody being physically abusive, that ain't no shit to play with. I ain't never in my life put my hands on no woman. Never. And I ain't never had to do none of that thirsty shit to get one. And anybody who know me know I've been in the entertainment business for a long time. And you ain't never seen me around with no bunch of hoes and no bunch of niggas or none of the in-between. So for shit like that to be even said, exactly, just cloud chasing. That ain't even no shit that you gotta, that I feel like I should have to address. I'm not even, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even on, on no shit like that to be trying to do all that back and forth social media shit. She go, what's the business? I appreciate that. But I damn sure wanted to let the motherfuckers know that fuck with me, that support me, that I am definitely not that type of person. And that ain't, I don't even stand for no shit like that. And then just to see how people respond to some bullshit. That's why I ain't say shit. Because I wanted to see who was going to say what. But I definitely did not have no kind of relationship with that woman at all, period. Period. We ain't did nothing. We ain't hugged. We ain't met up. We ain't went nowhere. It was nothing. It was nothing. What nigga ain't going to respond to a picture of a pussy sent to his phone? I ain't saying that. That's the only shit I did. Back and forth, playing on. that. That's, I don't even do all that texting and all that old goof ass shit. Most of that shit is her talking to her goddamn self. And you seen it for yourself. Tell her put all that shit out. I don't have nothing to hide. I did not. I don't, that ain't no. Come on now. Now if there's anything that you, you think that I, man, that all oh, less cap. All of that. I met that lady for less than 15 minutes on my life. I ain't never seen her twice. I'm dead to fuck serious. You ain't never gave the wrong motherfucker your number. I'm the only one ever gave the wrong motherfucker their number. Come on, man. And I'm going to stay on this bitch a long ass time. So all them little blogs that posted that shit. So they can repost this shit too. And all them little goofy bitches who's. Oh he too old for this shit. Yeah I am too old for that shit. Because I ain't get involved with that shit. Don't apologize to me. 
Just quit believing every motherfucking thing you hear. That take away from the real shit out here. You out here making up shit in your mind because your mind fucked up. Y'all, if y'all fans of this lady and y'all fuck with her so hard, why don't you get her some fucking help? I usually I be on here on some on some real chill shit. But when people start to say shit like that, that could really affect how I do business. Because, you know, your reputation in this industry is everything. And all it, all it fucking takes is for somebody to say some shit like that. Come on, man. Stop giving them girls your number. Nigga, I, I'm trying. Somebody keep putting my number on the internet. Bitches like that. For what? For what, though? Ain't shit to gain out of that. Oh, I used to fuck. Come on, man. I used to fuck with... You ain't no used to fuck with me. You ain't... ain't no. Look, man. I tell motherfuckers all the time. I don't have no exes. I don't even know them folks. I don't even know them folks, man. Don't have no exes. I have a great lawyer. But this is, I don't have to, I don't need no lawyer for this. If somebody gonna sit, if you can get accused publicly, you should be able to defend yourself publicly. Where the rest of the shit at? Where we meet at? When we kicked it? What was all this, what was all this shit going on at? How long ago was that, y'all? Nigga, that shit was last year. That, that shit was last year. I'm about my business, man, and that's all I'm about. That's all I'm about. Ask anybody ever work with me. It ain't no hoes in the dressing room. It ain't no bunch of niggas. It's me and, and a blunt and a coke or something like that. But, bro, I'm telling you, please be careful out here. It's motherfucking all kind of shit going on. That's terrible. Last year, two years ago. That's how old that shit is. I ain't never fucked with this lady, man. And I'm not gonna keep saying that. This is my. This is really all I'm gonna say about it. Because that shit, y'all think that shit funny and it's some play play shit. But when somebody out here and they got your name bad, that ain't no shit to play with. I work with a lot of women in the industry, and we all have a great working relationship. And for somebody to say some shit like that. And for them to hit me and have to ask me about it, that shit is embarrassing. Because first of all, I thought you knew me. But it's not about knowing somebody at this point. If people gonna sit there and make up shit, throw the truth in there. Because the truth ain't never as entertaining as the lies. And it's not stay strong. This ain't one of them. I don't need encouragement, bro. I ain't do shit this time. I ain't do shit. I'm the victim. They lied on me this time. I didn't do nothing. You feel me? This ain't one of them. Please don't send me no bunch of keep your heads up because my head ain't never down. Trust me. Trust me. My head is not down. I definitely wanted to speak my piece and say some real shit. Cause that's, that's the stance I'm taking. I'm, you want me to explain to you what happened? Look, somebody, the girl from the TV, the Bad Girls Club, got on social media and lied and said that we were in a relationship and I was emotionally and physically abusive towards her. And this is somebody that I only met one time in my life. That's the end of the story. So there's no way that any of the rest of the story could be possibly true. That's facts. I, I met somebody. I took a picture with him at the airport. Blah, blah, blah. We exchanged, we exchanged pleasantries. We exchanged the numbers, but that's as far as it went. And that's on God. Now, look at the situation in reverse. What if I was a nigga out here and I was lying on my dick and saying that I fucked 
famous women and shit like that, I'd be the lamest nigga ever, right? So why in the fuck y'all don't keep that same energy when somebody else doing? Exactly. That's some goofy shit. Now that's the real story. That's the real story. It's not fascinating. It's, it's not interesting or nothing. It's not. The only response that she got from me after I found out this bitch was crazy was when she sent the pussy. I, I looked at the pussy. And if you're going to hold that against me, you can do that. But I, I'm sorry for looking at the pussy that she sent to my phone. But I definitely wasn't interested in no relationship. A whole goddamn mental patient. For real, for real. You know, sit here and post all these memes about goddamn mental health. Why don't y'all get y'all friends some real help then? Yeah, that shit really happened. Now what I'm supposed to do? Be a lame ass nigga and play the police and, and do all that old puss ass shit? No. Cam, ask Jay Shalay. Jay Shalay, my closest homegirl. Ask Jay, because I remember I was like, Jay, I told you this is crazy. Bitch. Ask Jay. This one, Jay know. Ask Jay Shalay. She know. I think that's what, I think, and man, I don't know when the date was. Cam, see if she know when that was, man. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, you know, I ain't got no reason to tell y'all no lie. I built my whole career telling the motherfucking truth. You're getting fired and everything for telling the motherfucking truth. You think I'm about to lie about a bitch I ain't never had. And if I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm amped right now and I keep saying bitch because I'm emotional. You know what I'm saying? I'm emo, I, I, I give y'all that. I'm emotional. Cause I don't be playing like that. My reputation means a lot to me. And that's why I ain't even want to have to address this shit. Don't nobody even have know this motherfucker, man. What's up, man? What's up, man? I see you all here having to let the motherfuckers know what time it is. I ain't mad at you, nigga. You remember when I called you and I told you that lame ass shit, and I said, yeah. I'm and then you see, then that shit rolled into all. Oh, now it's an abusive relationship. You can't let that shit ride, bro. No, not at all, bro. All not that, at all. All that you can take is for social media to get at the wrong attention. Nah, I mean, but that's the thing, bro. We got a responsibility, like to each other more than anybody, you know what I'm saying, to, to know to know better. But the people who know us, I y'all got a responsibility to us too to know better. Like the type of niggas that we done displayed ourselves to be publicly, that's not a front. It's not an act. So niggas ain't got no reason to lie about nothing in regards to no woman ever. And that ain't to say that everything that didn't happen and went in a nigga favor, because that's not the case. But to come on man. Come on, man. That's why I told you. No, I told you, man. Don't even. But sometimes you got to. Like you said just a few minutes ago, if you can be accused publicly, you should be able to defend yourself publicly. And that's just the way it works. Nigga. I'm, you know what I'm saying? It is just some, I'm thinking like, man, come on. This is so ridiculous. I shouldn't even have to say nothing. Right. Right. It is. But that's the thing. That's the fucked up part, man. Like, we got this all of this shit going on about how we supposed to take care of each other as black people, that plays into it as well. Like, come on, man. Like, come on, man. That that don't make no sense. Like, niggas ain't, that should, that shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to do that, just blatantly lie about somebody. Bruh. And it be okay. You know Bro, what I mean? Fuck, man. It's just crazy. That's that what I'm saying. What I'm do now? Go play the police and do all this right, stuff? Right, yeah, police. right. Now you got to go, nah. Now you, you don't even want to have all that involved in your life. Probably, though. It's like, People going to see this shit, and then they going to figure out what the fuck really going on, and then they going to see that that girl is crazy for real. Then they going to try to flip their shit on me and try to make it seem like, oh, I'm a bad person and all this old puss ass shit. That girl needs some help for real, bro. I literally met this woman one time at the airport, and she done got on social media to talk. I, I gave her my number and shit because I didn't know she was crazy. 
And then she got all these texts of her basically talking to herself and then sending the pussy for the trap. Who ain't gonna look at the pussy? <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> and and that's the thing. And you see what I'm saying? And if anybody watching this don't understand, that's what responsibility. You hear this but man no, saying, no, I think, did what I did. You know what I mean? Goddamn come up from zero to a hundred. And it's and my hoes, my taste in hoes ain't never changed. You know I don't fuck that ain't my type. No. First of all, where the boobs at? <laughs> nah, that I mean just in general. Come on, and, bro. And, I like like I said, I mean, bro, like in the description. I know you very well. We bro, I would never through. date a black woman that let a white woman whoop her ass. <laughs> For a white bitch drug that hoe on TV. In front of the ancestors and everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that's what I'm saying. Like we, we you gotta understand, dog, that it's 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 a different game out here these days, low. Nigga, but I'm not playing. Right, but that's the fucked up part about it. It don't matter. Somebody can just decide they wanna play with you and you gotta now you gotta be on live. Defending yourself about some shit that didn't happen, bro. Chico, this shit never happened, though. That's how I, I, I been listen. That gotta be how niggas feel who get locked up for shit they ain't do. Like, bro, I ain't nigga, this is the type of shit that get niggas locked up for shit they ain't do. <laughs> <laughs> this shit crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like when you told me that shit, I was like, like you know, you know when. When, when your partners use your partners, you know what I mean? You have a certain level of bias when it's your partners, you know what I'm saying? But the thing about us is we always keep it a, a band with each other. So trust and believe if that shit would have had any validity to it, I'd have been new that anything like that was going on. I know that, man, listen, that right there blew my mind because just knowing the type of nigga that you is, and I haven't even seen none of the shit that was said, but just hearing you tell me what was said about you, I was like, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Don't even say nothing to that shit. Don't address that at all. Don't even address that, bro. What? Not Carlos Miller. Nah. D -d nah. Abusive? Come on, bro. We done been, we done been, and that's the thing. We love black women. So we done been places, and we know there ain't no way in the world that a nigga can ever abuse anything that show us as much love as they show us. And this just don't happen. It won't happen. They show us too much love for us to ever be abusive. Abusive? Come on, man. Chico. <laughs> Come what's on. The one gonna say? Right. All the love these black women show us, dog. We the last niggas is the last nigga. When you told me that shit, I said, Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. That's crazy. That's crazy. I hate that you even had to address it, to be honest with you, that my nigga. But that just ain't bro. That's just come with the game, bro. I don't know who the fuck this person is. I have, I don't even, I still don't know who you're talking about. Don't give about. a fuck. And then it's about 4% of them trying to compare notes. Like, bro, it never happened, man. It never happened. God damn, man, it's, it's to be having to deal with some shit that it never happened, though. Like, I look, man, like I told you, all, all my fuck ups, man, I take. I take full responsibility. We, listen, we of, niggas most wham. Of, just, most deep, of. Like I'm saying, we wham. Like, though, you see, I got a do-rag going right now. It's 2020. Bruh, we don't give a fuck about that right now. We, we don't care. Gonna, we ain't even going to talk about that. That's coming we, up in the next in the next half, bro. We ain't. We don't care nothing about what a motherfucker think about the decisions we make, good or bad or in, indifferent. Niggas is who they are. So that's what I'm saying, bro. It's 2020, though, man. This is just a wild year all the way around, bro. It's just a wild year, Slim. Ain't no way in the world, man, you supposed to, like, come on, man. Like I, like I said, I don't even want to know what was said. I don't have no desire to see it because I know better. Chico, it's just a typical script. Trying to flip it. Try I ain't never wanted that lady. She wanted me. She trying to make it seem like I was after her. and She curved me. And then this is the shit that really hurts. This motherfucker said we was on a plane. She was sitting in first class. And I was sitting in coach. <laughs> D 
He go, we in Chicago, bro. We flying American. You know what they, you know what, what my American miles looking like. You know. You was, was the coach. What, what you missed your flight? <laughs> <laughs> Not even if I was on standby, I wouldn't have been the best. <laughs> right. You must have missed your flight on American. Much as we flew American when the world was regular. Come on, man. Chico, I've been on fucking wilding out for how many seasons? 15, 16, to 7, 7, 15 or so? Or so? 10, at least. And you mean to tell me I don't have more money than a chick who did one season of the Bad Girls Club? And we exactly what they pay for reality TV. Come on, dog. They don't do with 12 episodes plus the finale. 14 at the most. Maybe 10. Woo, woo, woo. She's talking about she in a relationship with this girl or whatever. I'm like, well, I ain't got time for all this. So she just started blowing my phone up with crazy shit. Oh, this how you do? You think you can just meet bitches and just treat them? Oh, you such an asshole. You think because you on Wildin' Out that you better than everybody, Mr. Superstar? What, I'm not good enough to fuck with you? You don't like blah, blah. I'm sorry. I'm drunk. I'm crazy. I'm just, let's just be my daddy. I just, I'm talking about all kind of crazy. So I just completely stopped responding, bro. Completely. So she'll be sending shit like, you know, like, oh, I'm going to kill you. I can't believe you did me like this. And sending like little uh, screen mask and shit like she going to do something to me. So I just completely stopped texting. Then just out of the blue, one day she just sent some pussy pictures. And I was like, cool, blah. But that's it. That's all I responded to. You responded, right. But, but the, you know how you meet a motherfucker that just regular text shit. I ain't said, hey, let's be together. I'm trying to be your man. Let's meet up. Let's go out. Ain't none of that part never even happened. But see, that's that's what we got to take the L at as niggas sometimes, though. Like, if if after all of that, a pussy shouldn't be able to catch a nigga. But sometimes, yeah. just what it is, bro. We it's just fuck, we all fall victim to that. I fell victim to that, not talking so you, to a girl. So and so she you, throwed a, oh, you ain't never just like, oh, oh, oh yeah, exactly. Mama, oh. Yeah, exactly. That's always on catch. But that's you. just, but that's I'm just kidding. something that, we got to learn how to how to deal with within ourselves, not being just always and snatched out your reason I can't fucking put the shit, the whole text message out. This is my old phone. You remember this one? The yeah, yeah. One I would never get rid of. Yeah, the, the six. So I'm on my other. No, nah, this the eight. The, okay. This eight S. This is my old joint. I'm on my new phone. For some reason, the shit, only, it won't pull up the, uh, you know, it only pull up so much from when you reboot the shit. But I had blocked the shit on this phone. So all the sh it would never the shit won't never come up, right? I mean, damn, man. Well, like I said, what you gonna do, bro? We all done took them type of ills. We and then the messed up part is you never know when somebody's mentality can switch over and make you the bad person, vice versa. And it's like if you was to do that, if you was just to come out and just somebody that you had a relationship with as a man. And whatever, no, and just you, thought, you didn't been with me like in, when I'm in a whole serious ed relationship, or when I'm just out here just one, out. right? I didn't right, but you, it, but even out of out of both times, you ain't never seen nobody be like, oh, he this or he that, motherfucker. Never. Be I, first of all, let me tell you, still never have no fucked up shit to say about me. Let me tell you something about me as a person, and for those who who might be in here who really know me, they know this to be true. I'm not fucking with no sucker niggas. And that's whatever I deem to be a sucker nigga. If I see, if I see any of those characteristics, I won't be around. I don't give a fuck who you is, what you do, where you from, how much money you got, none of that shit. Not gonna happen. That this nigga right here is my brother. Like we really brothers because I have rarely met very few people I didn't met in the world with the type of character that this man has. When nobody's looking. And when everybody's looking, that's on. I put I put everything on that. I'm willing to bet my last buck on this nigga, and I go to war with him any day of the week, no questions asked, because of how the character of this man. So, and I didn't, and we didn't been around each other with nothing, like bro. We and you didn't. We started with nothing when we were just two <laughs> niggas with oh. absolutely nothing. So, from ain't nothing, nothing changed. We didn't had the most we didn't ever had in life. Together, so and ain't nothing changed. He ain't never done nothing to make me feel like this nigga don't fuck with me. And that ain't got nothing to do with everything being perfect. We disagree. We done had disagreements, arguments, every goddamn thing, all types of shit. But that nigga solid. So 
if you are really a fan of somebody, this is just for people who are watching this. And just and mind you, this is my perspective, but if you're a fan of somebody and you want to be a fan of somebody beyond just what they do, then you need to know who you're dealing with. And if you're a fan of us, then you got to know that anything that remotely looks like that is some bullshit. It's too many people who will come out and say, that's bullshit because of the interactions we'd have. We wouldn't be able to be where we at if we was them type of niggas. We come in contact with too many women that are willing to do whatever that'll tell you I'm willing to do whatever. And we show I, too much respect. Did 200 shows and we left with zero holes. Zero. What we doing at the shows, Los, for the most part? Nick, what I'm doing for man, we go to the hotel and pack and we're going to ride and listen to a song or two and then be through and it. chop it up. And, and that's what we gonna do and build. And do the same shit tomorrow, bro. Every what, day. Where the rest of the hoes at then? If we, if we, if we, if we beat, I'm just riding around beating up bitches, manipulating them. Why? She said you beat her up. She said I was physically abusive to her. You didn't hear me say that part. <laughs> I, I did. Nah, nah, not nah. Come on, man. Now that's that. Now that that's, that's right there. I'm saying I ain't never even been in a room with this woman outside of that airport. Airport. Man, that's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. Physically abusive, <laughs> my nigga. Physically and emotionally abusive. Physically she said no. that I use tele telepathic shit to make her like me. She actually put this shit on Twitter, and motherfuckers believed it. God damn, Mr. Cleo. <laughs> I ain't even know you, Mr. Cleo. Mr. Mr. Cleo. Listen, man. Like I said, bro, like I respect you coming on here and addressing it because you got to. But at the end of the day, bro, come on, man. Come on, man. Like like I said, Emot we got to mentally abuse. How, bitch? I don't want you. No. And you can't stop nobody. Of all the women that we've came in contact with and have dealt with, and you know how, you know my, my line, nigga, how I go. Bro. And that's the crazy part is I ain't even one of them niggas, man. But 85% of the motherfuckers I like like me back. It ain't but a small few of motherfuckers who ain't like me back in life. I know right. who the fuck to like. You think I'll be chasing you? What, man, I'm listen. Gonna, you know, I'm going to chase you when motherfuckers is chasing me. This is right. a ass race. <laughs> Bro, you, you know me. We like, listen, you hang with me too much to be you hang, We hang together too much to ever for that to ever be true. But you ain't going to. We don't be doing shit like nigga. I'm talking about literally for all the people wondering. This is literally what I say 90 and we'll fuck around sometimes because we niggas. But for the most part, and when I say the most part, I mean 95% of the time. After shows, we sitting in the back room, blowing it, the, smoking. After we smoke, we're going to go back to the hotel, might grab something to eat. She knows what you about to do. I'm about to get up here and look at cars for the next three hours till I fall asleep. She go, what you about to do? Oh, you know me. I'm about to bust a block. I'm about to ride around this town for two hours in a circle. That's what we do at the shows. Literally. Literally. So you got to understand, we don't even have the type of mentality to be those type of niggas. Niggas is, and this is, and this is the reality. I'm picking my words carefully, but you... It's certain motherfuckers that let themselves be driven by the value that they get from being with a woman. Now, that holds a lot of value, but I can say for sure that the two niggas you're looking at now do not place their stake in that at all. Bruh. It is what it is. Bruh. It is what it is. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's not. It's not. But I'm not about to change my morals and principles of who I am as a man to ever make any woman like me or want to do anything with me ever. I'm not going to lie to you about who I am. Like None you, of that. Then you got to keep them convinced. <laughs> right. You got to keep the act up. I can't do this shit, I man. I can't. This is exactly the type of shit I be trying to avoid. That's why I, I will wait for two hours before I leave the spot. Every time we I do, do it, bro. man. What is, I what program is, two times men. Bro, I'm like, everybody gone. All right, then we can leave. We all going to leave together. Now, then Bruh. it's on you, but I got to make sure we get in and out. This, this 
40 motherfuckers who working for me and they watching me. And if I do this shit, they do this shit. And you say this and they, like, you can't, I, I try to avoid all this shit. Right. Because we hold the responsibility. When we in them buildings, that's on our name. If something happened and something go wrong, just like this shit right now, ain't nobody going to be like, this person did this or this person did that. It's going to be Carlos, Chico, DC, whoever. They did whatever it was that was wrong. So we always had that type of caution. And again, we're not impressed by the shit that everybody say you're supposed to be impressed by doing what we do. I am a living testimony that you can still be the nigga you are with success and fame. Right. You don't right. have to let none of that shit influence you. Dude, and you know the way that we operate and the shit that we like to do and the things we like to have around us. You know, a nigga might be, might be too heavy to be having strangers around the room or the, or the areas that we chill in. We might have been on the road for a month and got too much money to even be having strangers in and out or even, you know, around common spaces like that. So you really got to be selective of who you bring around. You just ain't going to be risking that for no pussy. You know, some strange right. at people. all. You ask, you ask about motherfuckers that have been in our environment in the backstage. Robbed out of town because you're doing too much with these hoes and all this old puss ass right. shit. Right. And we come from that. Like, nigga, I know how easy it is to that's the easiest way. Like, that's the easy. And then, like I said, as a man, we, we all fall victim to that sometimes. Just that quick play that'll come through. But I come from a place where I grew up around and amongst motherfuckers who will send a woman but the, to I'm, do all the things that you love to do even that had you I'm, fucked off like that. I'm talking about in the closet, jump out the closet on you. Hello. So. And before all that, man, this whole like this all of that shit that been all them days is over with man all, been over with all them loose ass women and you don't know who the fuck they is and all she gotta say is he grabbed me the wrong way or he touched me or right i don't like the way you know what i'm saying you, you can't risk it and that's what i'm saying like but the thing is the reason why i even address that is because people people like to make it seem like you ain't taking responsibility for whatever it is that you may have done that could be perceived wrong so i always want to let it be known that look niggas ain't saying that we above shit, but we saying we beyond it. I Man, tell you that. Trying our best to avoid it. Right. And beyond it, it, it nigga, you never above anything, but you can be beyond a lot of shit. See, that's right. what people don't understand. People think that I would never say I'm above nothing. I come from the bottom. So you, I'm always going to have that mentality in some way, shape, or form. But I'm beyond that frame of thought. And we beyond that frame of thought. So you got to know just because you stuck where you at, God bless you. I hope you get out of that mentality. But everybody don't think the way you think they supposed to. It right. just don't work like that. Dude, this is the wildest shit ever, though, man. But that shit really had me thinking about it. And then I ain't even tell you motherfuckers set my box shit on fire. When? Man, at the paint shop, man. Somebody set my motherfucking car on fire. Did they know it was your car? They knew it was my car. It was a disgruntled worker, according to the, you know, the, the paint man. He said he got into it with one of his workers and shit. And they came up, you know, did some vandalization. They just so happened to know it was my shit and burnt the bitch up. Threw gas in my whole box Chevy and set it on fire. Like the bitch on that video that's been going viral, huh? See the picture? Nah, 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 man. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, we got too much other shit to worry about. The world gonna give you enough problems and to be dealing with this goofy-ass shit you talking about. Shit that never fucking happened. Right. You know what I mean? Me and my guy was just on the phone with my cousin just talking about some of the shit that we didn't experience together. I was talking about, nigga, how we found out Nip got killed on stage in the middle of a show. In the middle of doing a show, bro, that shit came in in the middle of a show. Like, the type of energy that we try to give to our people has always been genuine. And right. just somebody who, if you really into mental health, and all inside of shout out wheelchair man. I didn't know your comment was gonna come past when I said mental health, but salute to you, wheelchair man. But if you really about mental health and you love somebody, man, get them some help. It's Bro, help out here. That's the sad part about it. It's help out it's here. Girl, get really. them some help. Cause I tell you one thing, the nigga that's on the, the top of this box right here, I love this nigga to death. I so ain't it. nobody gonna need to tell me if this nigga get to lose in his mind, in my opinion to get that nigga no help. He gonna have to fight me before I let this nigga go off and fuck himself over if I can help it. So if that's really how you feel about somebody, you don't get no pleasure out of seeing them do 
stupid ass shit on the internet. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you though, when I get when I get rich, I am gonna be wearing a lot of like silky velour one piece suits with Oh, the... that's cool. I'm with All that. Right. Yeah, so nigga, you see, we done already on nigga. I'm telling we you. We on our way. I'm, I'm <laughs> very into soft fabrics. I'm just like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We on our but, way, my nigga. Put with the wings in there. Don't fucking take me down now. Just... <laughs> we on our way, bro. We are on our way. Lord, you see me. Press me. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. I got my goddamn do-rag on. Bro, she want to fuck with who? You hear me? I she mean, do. listen. Listen, man. I'm talking about just, you just, I, I hate to see it. Like when, when you told, like I said, this is my first time ever hearing the whole story. Cause when you first told me like the type of relationship we got, we don't even listen to bull. We don't entertain bullshit at all. That's not the way we operate. Then the whole, the story didn't change since I told you. Now it's all this abusive type shit from somebody I never even did nothing but text. I'm an abusive text. Ain't nobody reposted that shit or no shit, have it? Oh, man, they didn't. Come on, bro. Why you think I'm on here talking about this shit? Oh, my God. That's all you can do, bro. Because, you know what I mean? Like like you said, what, what option do you have now? What you supposed to go? To the police station and File a complaint. And, call a lawyer. And, and yeah, call this, a lawyer. Let me sue this Inter blog inter right. Interrupt. Uh, uh, right. Put your comment slandering my name. I want $500, bitch. <laughs> Give me $7,500 and then I want my contract to rink dink records. Delete this shit. Delete the whole motherfucking page. Change <laughs> <laughs> Niggas getting old. Fuck you. We been old, nigga. I hope you live long enough to be old, young dumbass nigga. Hope, <laughs> right. Hope you don't lose your life to black on black violence, motherfucker. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, nigga. No, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Oh, gonna, yeah. We're going to talk facts. They want to talk all this shit about me, about how old I am. Fuck you. Got some old money over here, too. Uh -huh. That's the, the old big honey. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm balling and flexible today. Man, I really appreciate your words, man. It's just man, like, come on, Lowe's. Nah, family, I know. bro. I'm like, type of shit enough. You won't say that type of shit enough. You man, know? come on, man. You know what time it is with me, bro. Like, I, I'm the type of nigga. I mean, we know, you know, I'm, I'm with you right or wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you know you're wrong, but ain't nobody else going to do nothing to you. Not in my presence. And I know that's the same way, vice versa. I done seen it happen, nigga. That nigga ain't going to let nothing happen to me. Damn ever. Shit. Ever that nigga ain't gonna ever. We just don't have them type of the niggas you see around us. Trust me, we got a real family bond, and we done been in situations where it's been proven. I'm talking about proven, proven some of the shit that we don't talk about that we just talk about amongst us that we've experienced. Some of the stories, nigga, the shit that <laughs> happened to us were together, like right there, right there right. as a unit, nigga, and then had to wear that shit amongst us. Never, never would I ever allow anybody to slander my partner name, and I don't say bullshit. Yeah. Especially if you, because I know you. If that was the case, you know that, what would happen. I'm gonna tell y'all. You know, I, even if I was on some bullshit, I couldn't bullshit you, and that's when I seen you in the comment. Had to hit you and be like, "Man, this is what they saying." So you like it just don't even apply to me. Right, like I, I said, feel then, like we are in the public though, and you know, like some shit do happen, and then it's like you do all the public some kind of knowledge of what the fuck they think going on. Right, up to the night, nigga. Some people gonna hear that shit and know that it's one thousand. Some people gonna go back and be like, man, that nigga fucked that bitch. I yeah, just, right, and then there's nothing you can do about that. But let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell y'all what I know. The people that's watching, if it was any truth to that shit at all. You know what that man would have said to me when he called me? Chico, man, this I'm fucked up. I done fucked up. What we gonna do? Guaranteed. Cause he ain't gonna call me with the bullshit. He, he period. Cause man. I know better than to do that myself, nigga. We you know how many situations we'd have been in where we'd have had to be stomped down and say, nigga, how we gonna get up out this motherfucker? <laughs> do it, nigga, if you only knew, I'm talking about real boy. How we gonna get out this bitch, bro? Real Got life out. shit. Got so out. this is just, just, <laughs> woo. Talking about shit that would have 
Boy. Yeah. Like that. I'm talking about real life. I'm talking about life or death type shit. Amen. And we had the nigga. Oh, there was, there, we done built a whole enterprise, and I would never jeopardize none of our livelihood on no shit like that, bro. Right. I ain't now. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't sneak crazy and insecure behind closed doors with these women. At all. I ain't put my hands on them. All the pussy I ever got in my life was given. Was given. It was it was selected. I, I put in work. God cut it, cut a nice little path. He gave me this little part, and you know, then I got a little bit successful, and then I start get just a little sprinkle every now and then. But then, it's, you know, we cut out all that old bullshit, man. We won't do none of that shit. No, no. Think man. about this, right? And I you definitely. Out here gambling on my dick like that, bro. It's you know what that just made me think of, Los? Think about all of the, just the women that then came in contact with us that then reached out that we don't even get no in it. I'm talking about just I'm appreciate it. And that would probably be from some, some a good-ass wife for somebody. Right. I'm talking about. It's the lady that DM me. That's right. The first thing, first thing they find that they can hold against you. That's the shit that they want to do. Right. Because the people, people live know. and people live in discomfort and 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 dysfunction. And whenever they, whenever they see some dysfunction, it's like, ooh, I get to, you know what I mean? I get to. It, it's it's kind of like the mentality of, of misery loves company. It, it ain't no kind of. That's what it is. Because if you living in a in 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 a environment where misery is what you surrounded by every day and that's what you subscribing to the moment you see somebody you know or a fan of go through some misery it's like oh i get the this nigga get to be like me today i'm gonna make sure that i give all the energy <laughs> they, they turn eventually but it ain't today is all i'm saying it's like if you ready to play if you're ready to do that just i'm eventually i'm gonna fuck up for real because i'm a human but right. this, this is a false alarm Right, false alarm right here, bro. Say that, say right? Because I'm in the bed. Right. I'm in the and we, I and right. And the we didn't been and we didn't and listen. We didn't dump no, too many mean ones, and they're gonna really have a reason to be like, fuck that nigga. Right. What the fuck the case may right. be. The we, didn't, we didn't dump too many real situations, bro. That could have had a nigga. It's just on front street for some whole, whole. All that aside, when I'm talking about real life man to man type situations that could have really had us out of here. All the situations like this that could have been real, it was just God breaking them up. Because it's like, think of all the motherfuckers that I fell asleep on and didn't even hit back or just didn't fuck with or just got a bad feeling and didn't even, you know what I'm saying? They don't know about all of them parts. You don't get, but that's the shit we talk about all the time. Don't nobody give a fuck about the shit you, that you didn't do. Right. Just like now. Like this, the, the, other, the other day, the shit was way more entertaining than I ain't never met this woman before for real. And just the guys. I mean, you know, niggas done said that, but just the guys aren't true. I ain't never fuck with this woman. I met her at the airport. How stupid is this? Where the rest of the story gonna go? <laughs> I ain't got in the no, trash? It ain't no cap. It ain't nothing magical. It ain't like, oh, I was, but then this happened. Or, Bro, the story did. Right. Like that nigga Charlemagne say, nobody care about the truth when the lies more entertaining. You did. That's the real shit, dog. Don't nobody care about what's real if the lie keeps them entertained and keeps them, it, it puts the, it put people who like misery in a familiar space, and now you're in their company. So I want to keep you here as long as possible. Because any other time I'm looking at you like you have some type of ability or extra hours in a day that I don't have, or you breathing some type of different air than I'm breathing, or that's how I look at you under normal circumstances. But now you're down here where I dwell and where I feel like is my comfort zone. So I don't want I, I want to keep you there. I don't want you to go back to where I look at you like you something different than I can be. I don't want that because it makes me feel bad and uncomfortable. And come on, man. Mm. Why they doing this shit, bro? I don't know, man. They 2020, got, bro. And this 2020, this wrong gap motherfuckers really tripping, dog. They are out here playing Ghostbusters, my nigga. People say some of the dumbest shit in these comments, man. I just, just don't. You only skip. You skip us to read them, but don't like. Don't. That's don't. why I can't. I can't be on this bitch like that. Though. I just don't understand, bro. Like these, some of these people are real fans, and they are really fumbling the chance to tell you the shit that they want to say, and they just end up trying to 
they go, they fuck it up. Like, nigga, if, if I get a chance to, to holler at Michael Jackson or somebody, he was reading the comments. You think I'm gonna say some dupe, some stupid shit? Billy Jean was a hoe, wasn't he, man? <laughs> <laughs> nah, they so disrespectful in the comments, it'd be some dumb ass shit, some real dumb ass shit. Mike, what happened with your nose, bro? Like some dumb ass, this dumb ass shit. Dumb ass shit, man. It's just like, that's why I know. Bro, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. It's either a computer or some kids. Ain't no adult. If it's adults out here leaving some of these comments, I it is. Just think about it. We went to school with motherfuckers who used to eat glue and crayons and shit. They grow up. That's a good point. <laughs> you got a good point there. Yeah. They you got a good point there. Yeah, you know I mean, glue eating motherfuckers. So that yeah, makes sense. They make babies and shit. And then you remember we was talking in LA. What happened to all the crack babies? Right, right, right. That's a good question. Cause there was a lot of them. Lynch, man. Still out here. Shout out to Willie Lynch. That Willie Lynch, what's up in this motherfucker? That nigga Willie Lynch. Willie Lynch don't eat nothing but shit that grew when Adam and Eve was alive, nigga. That nigga is in a different type of that shit. Nigga shit that Dr. Savvy would like be like, man, I don't want them fucking, man, what that shit. <laughs> right. This nigga got hey. the most. If you're looking to get into the holistic way of life, then hey. holler at Willie Lynch. Hey, he got some concoctions. Yeah, before you can fuck with Willie, you think I'm bullshitting. We was doing a show in St. Louis at Helium. That nigga had brought me some tea that he made, right? Man, why this goddamn tea stayed hot for four goddamn hours, man? We did two shows, and when I got through with the show, that shit was still, when it took the damn top off, the shit still had steam in it. I was like, nigga, ain't no way that shit stayed hot no four goddamn hours. That's because he using real tea leaves, nigga. We ain't never had. <laughs> that nigga root, used tea leaves root. from the Congo. That nigga get the roots. <laughs> right. This nigga got some tea leaves straight from the Congo. Now he went and flew over there and picked them shits himself. That nigga got some, nah, some concoctions. That nigga did fly to Belize just to get some herbs. That nigga. Flew. I know, man. That nigga Willie Lynch ain't no joke. I was like, this nigga taking this shit too serious. He gonna live to be 798 years old. You, you know what made me realize Willie Lynch was a hell of a nigga? He put up a caption when he was eating one of them meals. Nigga had his shirt off. He was like, yeah, I'm in real shape, which means I will whoop your ass and I won't get tired. I said, oh, that's real right there. That's real, because I don't know if you'd have never whooped a nigga, but even if you winning, it's hard to keep going, my nigga. Yeah, drinking the tea, right? He was like, man, this shit make your pipe hard all night. And then I was like, I, it didn't even dwell on me that nigga. My pipe already straight. I don't need nothing else to add to it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't want my pipe to be hard all night to pause, but, hey, that's uncomfortable. Yeah, all I like night. Sleep. I, I, to I sleep on my stomach, <laughs> nigga. I, I'm that's uncomfortable. I can't. That's gonna be uncomfortable. Dick all the way up here. I'm trying to sleep. Hell no, nah, I'm good. Most painful shit you could ever do. Roll over. <laughs> but you feel that? I felt a sharp pain in my neck one time. I rolled over on my shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga say, nigga say, Chico got the blue army for tea. Oh, nigga, you see, I'm, I'm going all. I, listen, hey, you been watching that masterpiece shit, ain't you? That's yeah, what, yeah. I know. Man, you. these is these is my ghetto dreams, my nigga. I done had a haircut when I had hair. I always had it cut. And then Fuck went bald, bro, and man. was bald. So now I'm living all my I ain't, I'm living all my ghetto dreams in 2020, bro. They told By me the that. end of 2020, I'm ahead of Stevie Wonders. You already know. They was like, bro, what you gonna tell Chico? I was like, nothing. That nigga happier than me. Happy than a motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. And you know me. I don't give a fuck. When you looking at a nigga who don't care nothing about what you got to say, my nigga. I wore size 13 shoes to school in middle school and was still cool. That's a fact. <laughs> so you think, I feel like I can make anything work. And you know why? Because I don't give a fuck what nobody got to say. That's the only difference. The right. only difference between you being able to make something work and not make it work is what you care about what others are going to say about you. Man, I ain't never gave a fuck what nobody said because they don't never say the good shit. Right. JJ, we got my nigga JJ from the sip in that bitch. JJ, what's up, Nick? OG's in here with us. Yeah, man. Got thick ass Takara in here, too. What's up, Takara? She make me nervous. She's so thick. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? People know, listen, like this. Ladies, if you if you, if you you uh, uh, have any this 
discontent about the type of person that Carlos Miller is. Ask some of these ladies that know this man what type of person this man is. I done seen my niggas say some of the most brilliant shit ever uttered by niggas in the in ever. So just ask some of the ladies that really have interacted with my nigga. And this is just me being a motherfucker that know. I don't put my you don't see me vouching for too much of nothing out here. I don't know, my nigga. Everything each his own. But when it comes to certain shit, that if you if you a nigga that I consider to be my nigga, that means I look at you as family. And any of my niggas, I'm gonna speak highly on. BJ, All of them. I go kid, he checking in. Man, I talked to BJ the other day, man, on a, a FaceTime, man. Salute to my man, uh, Jay White. He got a clothing line down here called Carolina shit that's going up real heavy. And uh, that's his people. That, he FaceTimed me. He said, he said he was coming to do the podcast, bro. He is. He is. Not he bullshit. Said, he said he was coming to fuck with him. One of the realest niggas in the industry, man. When that nigga right. said, hey, hello, pull up on me. Man, we was in the studio just fucking around for about four hours. We ain't even do nothing. Oh yeah, that nigga man, listen. That nigga he answered the phone the other day getting his hair cut. <laughs> he got that Anthony Hamilton clock too, man. That nigga right. get that motherfucking bag and get to pulling out that R and B gospel sprinkled on it. That Remember what we was talking about, hey BJ the Chicago kid, man. You need to do a twenty twenty wrap up, nigga. We need that kind of soul to describe the year that's been going on. We oh, need that. Gotta get him on nigga. Five, nigga. Yeah. Oh, but that's Without question. Oh. But we need BJ, we need you to do the 2020 wrap up. It could be featuring us, my nigga, but we need some soul on when this year gets sung about. That shit. Guaranteed. Sad one, buddy. We're gonna yeah. take five minutes just to do the eulogy part. Right. Nigga, nigga Kobe died. Herman Cain. Call Corona. What to Herman Cain? Hey. Herman Cain, the black man? Yeah, that nigga went to that Trump rally and caught that shit and died. That one in Tulsa. Never. Yes, the fuck he did. Damn. Where the fuck you been, bro? You be underground? Yeah, nigga, you know, I don't... I be in here in my own world. I got to maintain this shit now. That's all I'm occupied with. You don't understand. This is the greatest shit ever to me. I got beautiful black women sending me all the different products to make my shit grow back. We going up. <laughs> this is just, I ain't seen nothing. Oh, man. real. Thank you some of this beard cream, bro. You remember I've been telling you I got the secret formula on my own. Yeah. Let me see. That quit touch of shit. Oh, you got it right? What man, my man I, my man wiping his ass? His, yeah, he is wiping his ass. Quit touch. <laughs> you don't get the don't fuck the joke up, bro. Yeah, I'm about to put this shit on the website. This oh yeah. This is the best beer cream in the motherfucking world, man. You see why my shit got laying down like Oh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I need some of that. Hey. I need some of that. You know I need some of that. I got money in my family. <laughs> you hear me? Like I said, bro, I got so many people, so many. I put that post up, man. There's so many hey, black bro, women who want to see me flourish right here in the love zone, bro. They There's so they, many. They said that lady Big Booty Judy. That's yeah, she, she, she reached out to me. She reached out to me. She said she going to shoot me something. So... Yeah, man. Yeah, it's been a lot of people. And it's been so many, it's been hard to pick. I can't pick all of them. I ain't know it was that many people. So you going to have to and do them like, you have to do like a trial, like week by week or like. Yeah, that's what it is. It's got to be like that because it's been so many, man. It's been so many that they reached out and was like, no, bro, you can. They, if, you know, I, even though I don't give a fuck, people have really been making me believe that my shit can grow back. <laughs> like, nah, bro, I'm telling you, bro, my, my auntie shit was way worse than that. Her shit grew back. Man, we balled by choice. We could have been in Boston Hell. Oh, beyond question. And that's the thing. At some point. I, I could have gave us the plug. He right. And we'll, come on, Dion, man. The OG, the unk. He could have, we could have been down. But yeah. I like whatever I, I put, like. Whatever's on yeah, me, right. I like. But the, the crazy part is my my head shaped funny anyway, with or without the hairline. I still got a big forehead. So it's like, what's the Bruh. fuck? That's what I'm saying. Motherfuckers telling me to cut my hair. You need to cut that shit, Chico. But when I'm bald, nigga, but look at that nigga Chico head. So I can't win for losing. And that's if what, I'm going off of what you think. This is the crazy part, though, man. This Don't nobody never speak on the, the greatness of having a bald head, bro. When you get a fresh bald head, oh, nigga, you be feeling managed in a month. Bro, you ever, and the way a woman will lick. Like, lick oh, but yeah, lick. boy, I'm talking about. If you ain't never see a lot of y'all niggas ain't never felt the whole hand on your scalp, nigga. No, oh. that's what I'm saying. They ain't never had a real freak that like 
you ain't never had a motherfucker lick your bald head. Like, not just a little bit. I'm talking about that'll lick your whole bald head. That's the type of shit that goes on out here. <laughs> and look, you see all the women who've been coming, you see how quiet they get right now. It's some bald head lickers in here. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't, I'm talking about as soon as I get the fresh bald head, nigga, this, I, I just want to eat some pussy. Eat meat. Oh, man, listen. The fresh baldy, man, listen. Especially especially after you done let it grow out a little bit and you got to get the razor put to it and the whoa. Now when your shit's smooth and the cover slide over. Oh, my God. Mean fresh baldy. I'm talking about when you sound like that. Dog. You know what I mean? But see, that's what I'm saying. I know I went bald. You ain't had to tell me my shit was going. I went bald, but the wildness of 2020 has made me realize, one, that who gives a fuck, and two, if you give a fuck so much, I'm going to show you what it looks like for somebody to live in their truth like you should be this year. That's how I can tell if, if a motherfucker really like me. Like, if I could be around you and my head ain't shaved and you, and you ain't judging me, I, can, I know we're going to be. I know we gonna. Right. We got something for real. Right. Right. And now, you know what I mean? Like I said, now I'm at a point now where you just really. And then she see you with a bald head. And then she see you after you ain't shaved it. Like, she like the nigga that's like, she'll look forward to you shaving it. So she'll put up with your uh, George Jefferson. With your George Jefferson, right. Right. And that's how I know. I, I am loved. That's another thing. Like, I get too much, way too much love to ever focus on anything that's not that. That's what I'm that, saying. They I don't, don't understand. Don't like, know. I get so much love. Why would I focus that's the part of your personality that don't come across through this social media shit. They don't know the type. You might grow them motherfuckers for two years, or you might wake up tomorrow and say, man, cut this shit. They don't know that Chico B. You get right. me? Right. You know what I mean? It's just, it just is what it is. I get so much love, and I love myself so much first that, you know what I mean? That's another thing, like, that I admire about you is how much you love yourself, bro. Like, I've seen you. Say and and show it and do it like with no nigga, nobody looking. It's just you and nigga. I'm so comfortable being me right now. I don't give a fuck. That's a skill that you can't teach. You can't Come teach, on. and most people don't have that, unfortunately. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, I, but don't give it my, isn't a day oh shit, that like, I look in the mirror oh, and I'm know. not excited about the fact that I'm looking at Chico B, bro. Ain't a day that go by in my life where I look in the mirror and be ashamed of what I see, no matter what hey, I see. Hey, man, that shit is dope. When you could just wake up and look outside and be like, hello, world. I'm <laughs> fuck with you. Right. <laughs> Best feeling in the world, bro. Ain't nothing like that. I hope we build somebody's confidence back up. Just one. I, just I hope so, too. Salute the new wake. face in the building. New face. Hey, that nigga stay, stay on point. Listen, New Face was there. That nigga went to John Lewis' funeral. Oh, man. <laughs> New Face was there. New Face, congratulations. He just had his first grandchild. Hey, yeah, congratulations on the grandchild, New Face. Yeah. I want to say grandson. Is it grandson? Or is, it's got to be grandson, right? I think it's, it's a, a little girl. I think he had a little girl. They will not let New Face have no little boys over there. <laughs> like old daughters and a granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us, that's what we gonna have. I think if I have any more, it's gonna be all girls, bro. Kenny Burns, what's up, OG? He the one. It's a lifestyle, man. He about to help me get that Carlos Miller pop. Yes, yes, we got some big stuff coming, man, with the OG, man. You know, it, but that Carlos Bernard, I Not get Carlos Miller, that Carlos Bernard. I gave my dad the Uncle Nearest, man. It's a hit in Mississippi. It's a hit in Mississippi, bro. They already collecting the bottles. You gave you gave Uncle the uh the uh the, the Uncle Nerys, you gave both oh, of them? Oh, he said he got to have some more. He trying to get on the subscription list. <laughs> <laughs> he said he gotta get on the Yeah, I got my Uncle Nerys in the it's in one of these cabinets. I don't even drink, but I got something on deck. Pet if anybody want to drink from that's what I'm pulling out now. The Uncle Nerys. That's all we drink over here, even though we don't. Come on, man. You dig? If you want to drink in my house, you're going to get some Uncle Nurse. Hey, man, I'm gonna, I want to look at a pirate map and just sip some. Just... <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to sit on one of them porches in Mississippi with them big-ass trees, the big house. I want to sit on the porch of the big house. I got, dressed... I got you. I got you. <laughs> 
<laughs> sit on the porch in the big house, nigga, with one of them shirts on, that blouse in the middle right here, just sip some Uncle Nerds with some boots, nigga, some Confederacy boots. Hold on. Just to I, show I, we just I, took I, over. I got to interrupt right here because I got to show the people the most important part of the blunt. A lot of people skip over this. What's now, that? This part of the blunt, Chico, just know this is enough blunt to get your entire life together. Fuck the whole blunt. You smoke the whole blunt to get to this part right here. The roach? Look at that. That See, that ain't technically that's not a roach yet. That's <laughs> pre roach. This is about four hits from being a roach. This, If you woke up and you ain't had no weed and you had everything to do and you had this much just to start your day off, this that will get you right. That's this will get your entire life together right here. Let me like go. the bottom, like I'm the bottom, kidding. that little juice that be in the bottom of the popsicle. <laughs> As you go like this too at the end. I got about see, I done wasted about two good hits. I just showing you what it is, but this can get your day started. To about <laughs> this can get you about see that don't matter what you say. Look at niggas in here arguing about what your definition of a roach is. They gonna tell you that's a roach. Niggas said, that's a roach. <laughs> Them niggas sell weed. <laughs> they, got a, they got a weed man in the family. They bougie smokers. Real weed smokers who buy weed. Know about this part right here. That little pup, that little piece right <laughs> there. When you got to go pick your girl up from work, you hit this before you go to court. You hit this before you get on the plane, a bus, any long travel. Ooh, you hey, ooh, this clip right here. Like if you just if like if you go out of town and you you, you ain't got the weed plug yet and you just got this left, this'll get you through there. That's what I'm saying. But just see, that's the thing, it'll be hard. See that that little piece you gotta say that for the right time if that's all you got. Now nah, I ain't gonna hit it right now. I'm gonna hold this motherfucker till after the show. This is another thing. <laughs> you know Motherfuckers say, hey man, let me hit that right quick. This about how much they post to hit. <laughs> okay, for how big the blunt is, you don't never post to exceed. This much. That much. This is a hit. You get two good ones of these and get that shit back. And they said some niggas will smoke your shit from a whole blunt down to that. Like J-O-N did. <laughs> yeah. <let's... laughs> and give it back to you. Right. There you go, bro. Nigga, you know that's a mean when you got to pass it and, and, and connect fingers with a nigga. You got to push that bitch up against his finger and turn it around. That's the, that's the, that's how you pass that, uh. Hey, this was... <laughs> Before you smoke, before you actually roll the blunt, you just be like, <laughs> "I'm ready to go now." You go roll up. This nigga wheelchair man say my lungs big. I believe it, wheelchair man. It's a joke right there, but I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna leave I, it. I already died, me boy. <laughs> <laughs> leave I, that nigga wheelchair man alone. He'll make 15 videos right now. In response, that nigga is the great. Don't this wheelchair man? He gonna respond, nigga. He not waiting twenty four hey, hours. He coming back. Like Kevin Gates. If yeah. Got that meeting. I'm gonna send like thirty back. Right. He coming right back. Yeah. You know what I mean? He not waiting. No. He not wasting no time. You coming because he he coming straight back at you, yeah. right there. Yeah. You got me fucked up. That nigga gonna get on your fucking ass. Now you know what you got coming. You should. Oh, know. he a uh, nigga. I, he done been talking shit to me for the past three months, so I'm I at least got a, a couple motherfucking get backs in my pocket. This nigga that been making videos about me, man. That one he made when I first debuted the twist when he was listening to the braid my hair. Nick, and he, yeah. The way he rolled up in the chair, bro. That's how he came up in the chair. <laughs> That's what that nigga did to me, bro. <laughs> he be your head. He be letting all the all the comedians have it though, man. Oh yeah, all the way, man. You know what I mean? But I done been knowing that nigga for so long, man. It is what it is. Salute to you, Will Jim, man. Keep on, nigga. Don't bother me none. Get yeah. your shit off, Slim. Yeah, man. Most definitely, man. When you back on there to do it again. Shit, I, you know, I had to give it a couple days just to make sure, you know, wasn't nothing coming back from being around all the niggas. So I'm back on next week. You dig? We back in the game. She going to help me with my whole shit. She going to be helping me. I'm putting her on love zone duty. She going to be greasing my scalp and shit. You know what I mean? 
I picked my <laughs> up yesterday. This nigga act like I was interrupting him. I was like, oh well, yeah, you already know what time he on, boy. You know what time he on. That's Lil Los for real. Then he that shit he said on that porch that night. Well, I, brother, I still, I still laugh at what he said on that porch that night, bro. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Don't even repeat that. They I'm gonna... not going to repeat it, but that shit is hilarious, man. That nigga, your son, all the way. They going to think I'm a bad parent, man. No, nah, you're a great parent, but that nigga just his father's son. That's just what it is. Ain't no worse than my daughter. That's my baby. She do shit. I'd be like, hey, ain't nothing I can do, but she get it honest. Yep. That shit, wow. I can't believe the goddamn Lakers that let Toronto whoop that ass, man. Oh, you watching the rec league? I ain't watching no rec league games yet. I got to get on the rec league, man. Looking ugly. I ain't watching no games till Lou Will come back, nigga. That's fucked up. Nigga bro. couldn't go get no wings, nigga. That's fucked up, bro. Yeah, his own I ain't watching no games till Lou Will. Till Lou Will come back, nigga, I ain't watching no motherfucking NBA. Didn't he get his, his uncle passed away or something? Yeah, he went, you know, a nigga went to get him some wings, man. You know what yeah, I mean, nigga? Grieving, man. Hey, yeah. man. Yeah. My dog. Come on, man. Nigga, like, he put everybody in danger. Man, come on, man. Nigga went to get some wings. Brother Will is a legend, man. <laughs> that nigga a legend. Yeah, man. I'm watching, I'm, That's going to be when I, whenever Lou Will come back, that's when I'm watching basketball again. I'm talking about first ballot Hall of Fame. Bro. All the way. First ballot Hall of Fame. Greatest. I'm talking about sixth man of the year. Every year, candidate you know, since he's of the year. Because he shouldn't have been coming off the bench in the first fucking. Right. Game. Exactly. And then the, for a nigga that had a mentality to accept being a six man in this climate and Dude. to wear that and do it the way he do it, straight up, man. You know what I, I mean? You can't. feel coach, he would be starting. You know why? Anybody who be like, coach, why Lou Will starting? I just look him right in the face and be that man got two bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that know about each other. They right there. That That's the part you got. You can't leave that out. Any more There's a lot of niggas with two women. The rest of the team would be like, any more questions. Right. About each other. Nobody. No. Whatever he knows, and that needs to be in the starting five. New face said they got a line for them wings at Magic City now, as they should. Bruh, the <laughs> thing about it, and New Face will tell you, because New Face is there, that line for those wings is always long. I don't give a shit if you walk up there and ain't no orders. Guess what? It's 10 orders in front of yours. <laughs> <laughs> they coming from somewhere, huh? As somebody who knows about them, hey, I know motherfuckers who are paid to, who are go, pay the part, pay to get in the club just to buy some wings. Damn. It's, it's but serious. see, I ain't never been to Magic. Well, I ain't never got the Magic City wings, but that blue flame, you put me on that flame. Woo. Yeah. I mean, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm talking about 3 o'clock in the morning. Baked yeah. salmon, macaroni and cheese, collard greens, cornbread. Kale's and kitchen. pussy. Kale's kitchen. Yeah, and pussy, bro. It's like, well, this is why, nigga. I, you know, I don't do the strip club, but I see after being in there, I'm like, oh, I see why niggas be here all the time. Ain't no way in the world. It's, this is why people and people, it's a lot of Atlanta strip clubs, but they always say Atlanta, they like Magic City, Blue Flame, but they don't never mention shit like, like strokers and pinups and and you know all the old you know it's a whole gang of, of of strip babes and all the old shit you know what i'm saying because it's like whatever the fuck kind of woman you like if you're a man that likes women atlanta has a stripper that looks exactly like your favorite <laughs> woman that you'd want to look like and she built like your favorite however you want them built like I mean, I was at Magic City one night, and this was a couple years ago, and they had this, I forgot what they had. They had this shit called, like, the Dream Team or some shit. They had five motherfuckers look like Halle Berry in there. Then they had one, they used to do theme nights a while ago. Like, you would go in there one night, all the strippers look like they in college. Or they'll have all the strippers who work out, like, with abs and shit. They'll be like, man, this is the crazy. It's just like every night they giving you a different fantasy. That's crazy. Blue flame. And they, and they new face say meat bought a thousand piece one night. <laughs> Bruh, you go to Blue Flame in that motherfucker, you might see the best bitch in there do a hundred push-ups in a row. It's like it's the craziest shit. Atlanta is hell. It's hell. 
This is <laughs> what God does not approve of, man. We live in the nastiest, best sexual place in the world. <laughs> Real life, Sodom and Gomorrah, huh? <laughs> or man, it's all <laughs> that nigga said it's hell. Man, it's all kind of sexual weirdos and prostitutes and fake. Uh, missionaries and mercenaries around. This is hell. This is everything God did not want. Dang. We yeah, because when I, like I said, that night you took me to the Blue Flame and I was in there eating that, eating that good ass meal, looking up and seeing ass shaking my face and then looking down and seeing collard greens and then looking what? up and seeing pussy and then looking down and seeing baked macaroni and cheese, then looking back up and seeing more pussy. And then it, I was just like, it was, I'm going to have a heart attack. Man. I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> it was all in the midst. Titty sweat all on that cornbread. Well, I'm going to have a heart attack, bro. This, hey, That's laugh. why Fred Sanford, I'm talking about the Fred Sanford. It was too much to handle. Bro, you got to work your way up to Atlanta, man. You can't do that every night. Atlanta, if you ain't used to it. And people be asking, man, why everybody love Atlanta so much? They don't need shit to do. You just don't know what to do. Like, I could, yo, put, I could put my mask on right motherfucking now. And go somewhere. Streets. And there's some motherfuckers who got the same ideas as me <laughs> doing some shit. These niggas might be standing around selling hot dogs or any kind of old weird ass shit. Right. It's some shit to do at any moment. Hey, listen, I'm telling you, if I lived in Atlanta and I was to do that strip club shit, I would have to go in the daytime to work my way up to the no, you nighttime. Think. <laughs> Day, daytime strippers in the nighttime don't look nothing alike. That's why I got to work my way up you know to the daytime to get to being in the nighttime all the time. Uh -uh. Man, no way. I got to go on the day. You know who go on the day shift? It be like the old players and truck drivers. They don't be in there getting like real live lap dances. They be in there playing video poker with them, sh them chicks and shit. Well, hey, I'm going to have to go in there with them because I need the training. Because after you took me straight to the, the main event. Yeah, I went from not playing in the league at all to going into the NBA, my nigga. I got to. I got to go through the G League and AAU first before I get back to the NBA. That shit is different. Right. It's a different ball game in them motherfuckers at night, bro. Man, you went through You probably, it shit probably never be like that again. You went in there. Glad you got to go see. Oh, yeah. We went through there, boy. That was one of the craziest nights ever. Like, I I remember what I said. We riding with me and Los Cruz, you know, like we do. Like I said, I'm like, Los, man, I'm hungry. Go to checkers. That nigga said, I ain't taking your motherfucking checkers. Watch this. Nigga pulled up to the flame. We walked right in. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck we going? He's like, nigga, just, just trust me. I said, all right, bet. You know what time it is. I went and sat down. That nigga handed me that. Nigga say, man, where, what's up? Everybody saying what's up to us. I sit down. The, the girl, the, the lady who was the waitress that bought me the menu was. And she was the waitress. Handed me the menu. I opened that bitch up and seen grilled shrimp and baked my. I'm like, I can get all this 3 o'clock in the morning. I can get all this now. It's like, yep. yeah, you can get all of it now. Then they rushed my order, took my order, went back and rushed my order, so I got my shit quick. And then I just sat down in the little VIP section, eating and looking around, just seeing fat ass shaking. And... Nigga, I would have taken shit. Why the fuck that... you ain't take me to check us, nigga? <laughs> Why you do this to me? But that's how you know this, this place is fucking crazy. This shit is fucked up. Yeah, it's different. Black man. Nigga, that's all your wildest dreams wrapped up in the one, and that's just on a Wednesday. Right. That was that, that was a Wednesday night. It was a Wednesday night. Three o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday night. It's this bitch. If you don't know what time it is outside, you by the time you leave up out of there, nigga, the sun be shining like dust till dawn. Yeah. Yeah. You can get, man, you get caught up in that shit. It's a whole nother world in Atlanta, bro. Yeah, it is. I give it that. I definitely give it that all the way around. Salute yep. to the young niggas that be selling water. That's a whole nother world, oh, too. Stop them from doing that. They can't do that no more. They can't sell water no more? Put a whole goddamn injunction in place about that. Man. They said they, they about to make a law about that in Georgia. And then, and then you're going to act like you don't understand why crime go up. Yeah. Why these young niggas, these, no matter how aggressive they were, they was trying to do something positive, man. Man, they are creating more poverty. Hey, man, Big T in here. Big T in this bitch. Big Tuna, what's up with you, nigga?
You don't know nothing about Big Tuna, man. Whatever, man. That's another confident nigga. That nigga Big Tuna be on Instagram with his shirt off, nigga. Whatever, nigga. <laughs> Whatever. My nigga Big Tuna be on the motherfucker in the joint in the swimming pool, nigga. Titties out. Fuck it. <laughs> Put them titties up, Big Tony. Put them titties up, Big T, Big T. Like, nigga, fuck y'all, nigga. Scroll past it. It ain't for you. Somebody love these titties, nigga. And quit talking shit before he hit you with that. <laughs> but, but the chick of blow, yeah, you already know, man. Salute to my nigga, Big T. Yeah, man. That's my nigga. Some of the coaches, man. We fuck with all these people, man. All these different cultures and scenes, you know, be crossing and meeting up at our right. Shit. And one thing a motherfucker can't say is we ain't been the same niggas all the way through and through, baby. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can't believe this shit, though, man. It's been a wild motherfucking week. A I ain't week? ain't doing shit, man. I'm just chilling, dog. A wild week, nigga. This is the nigga. A week in August. What does August have to bring? Hey, man, you, you ain't catch that ball? I didn't. What you say? I'm just chilling, dog. Oh, they did. <laughs> yeah, Nate. That's the hash shit. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man, keep your head up, dog. Be careful. Man, you know it. That's what we do. Don't do the shit I do, man. Don't be out here, goddamn it, being seen, giving your number out at the fucking time. And shit. Hey, man, it can happen to anybody, man. No, when it's something like that, when it's something like that, that anybody can be lied on, Los. Anybody can be lied on. It doesn't matter. Anybody, you can say something right now, and 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 we can create a whole, a whole scenario based on some shit that never happened. So, it's nothing you could do about that. But do what exactly you said. Keep your head up. My head ain't never been down. Yeah, it ain't gonna be, nigga. Yeah, man. I smack you in the back of the neck before I let that don't, happen. Don't, bro. Don't fucking hit me. I'm, I'm, yeah, man. <laughs> down though man but i just want motherfuckers to hear the real shit don't be out here lying on my name and my name too good yeah my name I agree, good bro. motherfucking streets man i do a lot of goddamn great things <laughs> i don't need motherfuckers lying on me you know what i'm saying but that don't mean i'm gonna address everybody who lying but this shit is probably as far-fetched from from some real shit that possible that ever occurred yeah man. That shit is really a delusion. And I'm telling you, man, the shit gonna come out that that motherfucker real crazy. Like, gone. Hey, well, listen, at least you did what you were supposed to do in making sure that you stayed as far away from it as you possibly could. Because God forbid that there was any real interaction. Women, bro. We got a whole bunch of black women that love and support and depending on us, man. You got a whole daughter. We got, you know, the majority of our family members that are left are women. And right, they don't be wanting to hear that type of shit. Right, and we take very good care of them and show love. Like that's just what it is. When I say show love, folks that you care about, and then you're like, what? You know better. Than right, you. right, exactly. And you see, man, people that you ask anybody that ran in us, like anywhere. Yeah, you know what I mean, anywhere. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's it's love. So if we and like I said, black women show us way too much love for us to ever be out here abusing you, yeah. ever. Now I'd never be that dude. No, sir. That's lame shit right there. We don't even... Nigga, you couldn't stand next to me being no nigga that's walking around being abusive to women for no... For any reason, nigga. You know what I mean? Nigga, right. Learn how to be by yourself, sensitive that's ass nigga. Women, children, or black people. <laughs> Everybody else can get it. <laughs> Everybody else can get it, man. Like, you ain't in them categories. But man, this, you know, this type of shit that got to be said, though, man. Before oh, yeah. big blogs and shit started making up shit. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You already did what you supposed to. But hopefully it don't catch no steam like that. I hope, I think we do too much good, and God yeah. know the niggas, it, it ain't going to catch that steam like that. You did. I think this is enough. I think you coming on here. If I wanted to hear the shit, heard the shit. Right, yeah, I think you you did everything you were supposed to do right this time, and it's over with now. It ain't yeah, everybody else can eat a wolf dick or a rat dick. No, Just I'm any not. unsavory. Just yeah. any, any unsavory. 
drink some day, man. You can lick well nuts. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a piece of hard shit. I'm telling motherfuckers that from now on. Fuck you. You can lick well nuts. Lick well nuts. Yeah, nigga. Ground, ground trying to do that shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's Ooh. what I'm telling. Yeah, you can suck a shark dick, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because women too clever. She gonna come back and be like, well, you can eat octopus. Oh. oh, I don't know. Yeah, just listen. That, you, you need to be with her. If she come back with that, she's a winner. All the people in the comments in like three years. They be like, did he say? She's a winner. She's a winner if she come back with that type of clever response. All right, man. I appreciate talking some shit with you, man. You man, you know it, bro. You know what time it is. Nigga, we locked in, motherfucker. What you got going on for the duration? Man, I'm about to go sit back in the garage and, and, and be a, 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 a good homeowner nigga <laughs> and not smoke in the house i feel you, I'm with you. <laughs> much love all right my nigga my nigga they got it it's blue on the seat no shut up it's blue on the seat not blue on the seat no no shut up this cold this cold shut up this cold shut up okay okay hold on